Welcome to my channel, Acids and Gases. Today I've got this 1318 grams of trimmed ram fingers we're going to process. I'm going to get them into the beaker here. Um, we're going to do this using the method where we don't separate the foils from the fingers once we uh, remove the base metals and go directly to aqua regia. Get a better idea um, how that works versus a smaller experiment I did a few videos ago. Um, so go ahead and some distilled water. I'll put it up on the hot plate here. You can measure out about 600 milliliters of nitrate to start with. We'll add this to the beaker and continue additions till the reaction stops and we get no more fumes. So we'll go ahead and add our nitric acid in and start this reaction. see it starts to react almost immediately on that copper. I'll go ahead and get this covered up, turn on our fume scrubber, and let the nitric acid do its job. It's important that we get rid of all the copper, or at least as much as possible, um, in order for this process to work well. All right, moving on, we're gonna filter the leftover or the nitric waste, uh, make sure we capture any of the foils that came already decanted it. I do apologize, I used a new camera for the decanting process and had some setting wrong and missed that footage. However, we did decant it, we've now filtered it. So we'll get this cleaned up and get the foils ready for the first recovery with Aqua Regia. See, we got plenty of foils in the filter and the funnel here. So we'll take our uh, beaker of fingers and foils, grab our filter here, rinse these foils back into the beaker. See, there's a few of them stuck underneath the edge of that filter there, so the filter paper, so we'll go ahead and pull that out, rinse those in, make sure we get them all back into it. Double check the funnel, get anything that's stuck in there. I got a few on there. So we'll check the inside of the funnel, make sure we've got everything. Looks good. Time for the next step. So have our beaker up on the hot plate. We're gonna add about a liter of hydrochloric acid to start our aqua regia process. Add a couple of shots of sulfuric acid into this, drop any lead that may have carried over from the ram fingers themselves, just to make sure that drop out as lead sulfite. And add our nitric acid to kick off the aqua regia. I'm gonna put about 10 milliliters in. It's a little much, I suspect there's still some copper in here. I expect anywhere from eight to nine grams of gold. Um, so it should be plenty, we may have a little bit of extra and we'll cover that up. So the aqua regia is doing its job. Gold foils are disappearing in front of our eyes. It looks like it's pretty close to done. We have a lot of empty sticks and a little bit of fumes. So we probably have some extra nitric in there still. But you can see there's no gold left to be seen. It's all been dissolved into aqua regia. We'll go ahead and take it off the heat. Bring it down and work on recovering our gold bearing solution. 
So what I'm gonna do here is decant off the solution from the fingers, wash it several times with distilled water to get most, if not all, of the gold bearing solution off of the fingers and into the other beaker. Uh, that's not a great camera angle, so I will I'll switch these speakers around so that the watch process is more visible on the video. Now we've got that out there, I think we'll most do a couple of the Stannis tests. First we'll test our beaker of solution. And we see it turn the purple there, uh, positive for gold, what we're looking for. Then I'm going to take and do a Stannis of the little bit of solution that's left in the beaker with the fingers. I'll make sure we don't have any significant amounts, if any, left in here. Negative, so we have all the gold bearing solution out and ready to move on. So we're going to get set up and filter our gold bearing solution. It's a bit dirty, obviously, with the green color. So coming through the filter, the solution's looking a lot clearer. I think we're going to be good to drop here without having to filter again. Now we're all filtered. And we'll shut this down, get the solution back into the clean beaker now, and get ready to do our first gold recovery. So you look at that, you can see how, the, how much clearer that solution is. Uh, got a lot of junk out of there. Yep, very often I feel like I'm playing musical uh, catch dishes. But we'll get some space made here. Put this up in the back of the hood to prep for doing our drop. You can see that's the junk that came out of there. That's mostly fiberglass powder. So here we have our stump out, sodium metabisulfate. We'll drop our gold out of solution. Add our first teaspoon. Uh, well, that was not supposed to happen. Clearly, um, there is some XX nitric in that solution. The SMB will burn some of that up. Add a little more, see where we're at. Uh, now, there's still way too much. We're going to take a different tact. We're going to add sulfamic acid that will uh, eat up our SX nitric and get our solution ready for actually dropping the gold. We'll add this here um, until it stops reacting. See, it's still reacting at this point, so we'll just keep adding until it stops. Okay, that's better. Maybe a tad bit more just to make sure. That looks good. We'll move forward with the drop. So we'll add our SMB at this time. No ugly red cloud, that's good. You can start to see some precipitation coming out there as it reacts. A uh, little bit of foam on top. We know it's a dirty drop, so we will not worry too much about that. Let's add a bit here, shake it around a little. You can see it gathering on the bottom. 
We'll do a quick stand test just to see where we're at. It's coming up uh, negative. Um, some of that dirty foam is on there, but it's the stannis itself is coming up negative. Sometimes with these dirty drops, I see it go back in solution on a little bit of delayed basis. So we'll uh, give it a few seconds here, and then we'll do a second stannis test just to be sure that we stay negative. And second stannis test is also negative. Yep. So we are going to just let this settle and come back in a little bit and decant and recover our gold powder. So the powder has settled very well. All that foam has disappeared. Our solution is cleared nicely. All the powder is sitting on the bottom of the beaker. We'll go ahead and decant off this solution. And then we'll transfer this to a smaller beaker for beakers for washing. Let this settle just a little bit before we transfer the rest out. And as promised, gonna transfer this to the smaller beakers, um, wash it up good, and get ready to do a second refine to purify this gold powder. First, we'll do some boiling water washes. Um, did those, transferring to the uh, smaller beaker again. Ooh, do a few more boiling water washes, boiling distilled water. Clean that up before we do a hydrochloric boil to take even more contaminants out. So at this point, we'll do a hydrochloric acid boil. Gonna put about 100, 150 milliliters of hydrochloric acid in with the gold powder. Set it up on the heat, bring it to a boil, let it boil for five or 10 minutes, and then decant off, wash again, and then we'll be ready for our second refine. So we can see from our acid boil, we pulled out a lot of yellow liquid. Um, hopefully that's not gold in solution. We'll give it a test. My guess is it's not. It's probably just contaminants that were in that powder that are no longer in that powder. But we'll test to be sure. Always a good thing. In any case, it's going to go in our gold waste. So if there is gold in there, it won't be lost. It'll get picked up when we refine that uh, waste container. Um, you see the powder looks a lot lighter, looks better. Um, that Stannis test was negative. So we're going to go ahead and do a few uh, hot water washes with this and it's settling very quickly looking really good we'll clean it up just a little bit in preparation for our next step For our second refine, we're going to start with about 150 milliliters of hydrochloric acid. Gold powder dissolves easily, there's not a lot, so we're going to go ahead and do 6 milliliters of nitric acid. And the drop in your sigil lead, we'll go ahead and shoot a little bit of sulfuric acid into our aqua regia. 
cover on, turn up the heat just a little bit. You see that powder start to absorb and get that beautiful orange red color as the gold goes back into solution. Pull that off, rinse it down in, let it cool for a few minutes. It's all dissolved. Um, we have a nice pretty solution of that dirty green stuff from the first round. That said, you can see it's a little bit flow. You've got a couple of floaters in there. Take a break while this cools down a little bit. All right, back at it. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and filter this. You notice I'm doing a gravity filtration, kind of minimal setup. Uh, there's a storm brew in here and I wanna be able to shut this stuff down and have everything protected in case it comes in sooner than we'd hoped for. Um, this way I don't have to take a bunch of stuff apart. So sorry for a little bit of a bad camera angle. Um, we'll get that, we get the solution here filtered. As you can see, it's coming through nice and clear. Um, we are ready to drop this gold. Uh, we'll rinse out a little bit. If you look real carefully, you can see the wind blowing through the slats there. We'll go ahead and get this dropped and hopefully it can settle while we uh, shut things up while this storm passes over. Do a status test, see if we've got all the gold out of solution. Looks like we've got a little bit of gold left in solution. We'll add just a little bit more SMB. There's that nice white foam that we really like to see. Should have all the gold out of solution. All right, we're gonna get good and uh, get this uh, covered up, let it settle, get things closed up and put away while the storm passes over, and we'll come back to it uh, later tonight or tomorrow morning and finish up cleaning this up and drying it and weighing it up. I see some nice gold settling on the bottom there. Storm's over, so uh, we'll get started on decanting this. Washing it with some distilled water, cleaning up real well. It looks like really good powder. Just going to do some distilled water to get the uh, chlorine solution off of the gold. I know we're going to end up re-refining this and melting it with uh, other projects that we have going. So we'll be coming back and doing some real more purification later. But pretty pure looking the way it is. Just rinse a few more times with distilled water. We'll set it up on a warm plate. Not hot, just warm. Let it dry up and we'll move on to weighing it. Now that's nice and dry, we'll go ahead and weigh our powder up and see where we ended up. Get it all teared up, back to zero. And let's see what our powder weighs. Uh, so it looks like right about 7.7 .7 grams. It's a little lower than expected by half a gram to a gram. Do have some ideas for everyone. I've lost some gold in this process with keeping the fingers and foils together. Something to explore in a future video. Anyway, this concludes this video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, and share.